Hey people, this is Mike Jr. the second, this is Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, and in the last video, if you guys can't remember, we actually just re rescued Professor Crane, and we brought him back, and apparently the Purify Machine is done, so let's go check it out. Alright then, so what's going on? Yeah, I knew about this room before. Huh, my father, huh? But where is our father? I guess so. Yes, yes, he's gonna explain this to us. Yes. You just said that. Okay. Cool. Very true. Yes, cool, let's start this then. Yeah, these guys are here to help you out, so don't be too scared. Alright then, just stand on top of this cool little circle thing, and press the A button. And here it is. This is the Purify Machine, a lot different than the last game, right? Alright then, there's nine different sets as they said, and you, and you push edit to mess with them. And you kind of get this cool catchy music, I kind of like it. Sorry, I, I just love this, this is great. Alright then, so most of our Pokemon are Shadow Pokemon, but we do have a decent amount of Pokemon that aren't Shadow Pokemon, and you guys are almost purified, so. So, but we'll use my Pokemon as examples for the sets, okay? Now then, first what we do is we take a Pokemon, any regular Pokemon, put it in the set. Here's a regular Jolteon, so as you can see on the left, there's a Tempo. The Tempo wasn't that good, and there's a reason what the Tempo actually is, and actually how it affects it. Now then, how you should work with the uh, Purify Machine is that you want to have it so that the Pokemon, the next Pokemon you put down, are strong against each other. See, as the Tempo went up a little bit more than with Jolteon, that's because Jolteon can, or is super effective against water types. Therefore, the Tempo's going to go up a bit. Now, if we put Houndoom in, or Cerberus, as you can see, the Tempo went up a lot more than usual. And that's because the more Pokemon that you have um, up to the four sets that are super effective against each other, the better. So, very good uh, knowledge to know. So that's how you work with the uh, Purify Machine. Um, because I really don't have any Pokemon currently, um, this is going to be slight... No. Because I don't have any many Purified Pokemon yet, uh, it's going to be slightly difficult to work with. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably just put Teddy Ursa in here and leave a Pokemon in here. Now you might be wondering how the how the Purify Machine works. The higher the tempo, the faster you put the Pokemon Purify inside of the machine. Meaning that they purify when you don't even do a damn thing. And that's the great thing about this game, is that you don't have to do a damn thing and the Pokemon get purified. I could be walking around. If, if Let's say I put all four of my Pokemon in different sets. Um, I'll keep Teddy Ursa in, actually. Actually... Information though, because they have to be super effective against each other, it should be known that normal Pokemon are strong against normal Pokemon inside of the Purify Machine. Which doesn't make sense, but that's how it works, so. Dems the brakes. So anyway, because these guys are almost done, I'll put them in there with, um... 
Well, at least I'll put a ball toy in. Because you can't put a shadow Pokemon where a regular set is. Now when you put a shadow Pokemon in, you put them right in the middle. And you'll see the flow. The tempo and the flow are greatly affected by the uh, Pokemon being strong against each other. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'll show you guys the Purify Machine in the future. And here's actually a cool little thing to kind of show what it looks like. But yes. No, thank you. So we're just going to wait for him to purify, and I will show some of the purifications of Pokemon with the Purify Machine. Pretty much. It's pretty awesome. Yes, you can. Pretty much. Now then, here's a PC over here, and you can actually access the Purify Machine now. Now you can't purify the Pokemon from far away, you have to come here to purify the Pokemon, but you can take Pokemon in and out of here, so if you drop Pokemon in here, do not be scared to do so because you feel like, oh, well what if I need them later or something. You'll do fine, don't worry about that. And, uh, so yeah. Also, when the Pokemon are done purifying from inside of the uh, purify machine, you will be notified. So, don't worry about that at all. And actually, I'll keep Poochiana with us. Because Poochiana has a little bit more left, and... No, that's my team. Okay. Sorry, I felt like I was missing a Pokemon, and technically I am, but, you know. Hey, you have black glasses. Very nice. Take you. Take them off you later. Um, ooh, you have Charcoal. Coil. I'm taking you just to take off that Charcoal. Because if you didn't know, Charcoal increases fire-type moves by 10%. So, yes. And... where is it? There we go. And I'll keep Numa with us just because. Wait, why, why did I do that? Technically, Cerberus is really going to need this considering Ember is a very low t low power fire type move and we don't get a stronger one until way later in the game. Or way later, later at its level. So there we go. Anyway, yeah, we'll keep the team like that for now. So there we go. And I guess you could talk to people in here. What do you have to say, Jovi? Probably not. You're a little girl. I am a man. Oh, so our father's being gone. He passed away. Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of the story of Michael. If I'm right, he was killed in the process of, uh, with the ciphers and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Let me go check it out. Yeah, of course it's gonna be me. No, I wanna go. Damn you, Jovi. I will, though I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a nap. <laughs> By the way, sorry if my voice isn't that, like, is, might not be as good as it usually is. I just got done, I just woke up not too long ago. Actually, no, I woke up about two hours ago, but still. Um, I haven't really talked much considering it's the morning time, so it's kind of weird. Do you have the data wrong? Um, sure, I'll check up on other Shadow Pokemon incidences. Very true. Young man, don't you mean young god? So, he's, so she's pretty much telling you the story of Leo and Yuki. Er... For some reason, they don't they don't call them by their actual names, considering they actually have names. So it'd actually be Wes and Yu, Yui, or whatever you want to call it. Call her. I don't know. How, I don't know the pronunciation. I honestly don't give a shit. No, thank you. So yeah, if you didn't play Coliseum, you can you can talk to her for kind of backstory information for like why the ciphers are doing this. Why do they know about the ciphers? So yeah. So anyway, let's go talk to the one guy.
Where'd he go? Huh. What if he took a nap or something? Hey, you, you're the guy under the table. Consternation on his face? Never heard that word before, not gonna lie. Nothing there. Wonder where the guy went. And by the way, here's uh, Jovi's uh, plus one minor. Just in case you wanted to know. And probably, if I'm right, they're in there for the rest of the game, so. Not that special. Where the hell did the guy go? Have you seen him? He seems to be worried about something. Did he go back in here? No, he didn't. At least I don't think he did. Where the hell is that sod? Huh. I can remember where the fucker was. I'd go talk to him, but I totally forget. You already said that? Oh, I didn't know he had a bed in here. Huh, how funny. Yeah, that's true. But the good thing is, though, is that that Pokemon was a failure, apparently. Because I don't have full control over it, so... I can't say whether or not that's good or bad. We don't want the bad guys to have full control, but at the same time, we don't want the Lugia to go out of control. Heh. <laughs> Very true. Want to make it evolve into a Gardevoir. Have you seen anything? Maybe. But I already went outside. Or do we have to talk to people in a specific order? Is he down here? Oh, there you are. What's wrong, dude? Oh, hey, Crane. What's up? ONBS and Pirate Town. Ooh, we're going back to Pirate Town? So, if I'm right... Or, I don't know. Oh, it's a TV station. Wait. A TV station can decipher a bank vault? I think they've been watching too many movies. Oh, wait, so... Does that mean they're the kids from five years ago? Ah, oh, Ned, I remember him. Sure, no problem. All right, we're going back to Pirate Town, and we're gonna be seeing the the kids. I mean, anonymous. <laughs> I can't believe I made that joke. Now we're off. And an opening that is very similar to the what the fuck. Gotta love, though, they kept the old music in. Never get tired of this song. Dun, dun, na, na, na. Marsha? I think that's what they said. Is that guy holding a bazooka? No, that's a camera. Alright, then. Whatever works for you, game, do what you want. Wait a second. Those guys look familiar.
Yeah, those were the guys with Mirror B. Though you gotta admit, the police officer's being kind of an asshole. Hey, you guys used to be criminals. That means you must always be criminals. Attack! No, 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 no. You didn't catch up with them and make them straight. Leo made them straight. You, you'd have, you put credit where credit is due, Jason. Or Johnson, not Jason. Yeah, the peace in pirate town. Jeez, what's wrong with you? So you have people around here to talk with. I, if I'm right, I don't think they have any shadow Pokemon. Because you can battle them, so... From what I remember reading online last about the Shadow Pokemon, they don't have any Shadow Pokemon, so you're good. Hey, big guy. Yeah, this place looks a little bit, uh, different than before. Hey, vending machine. One that actually works, I am happy. Ooh, Moo Moo Milk. 100 points of e e EXP. Not EXP, HP. What the fuck am I talking about? Um... Take a bit of these. It's not that bad. Didn't mean to buy lemonade, but sure. Go let you work. Just because. Alright, then let's go inside. Gotta admit, this is the nicest looking place. Meg, wait. Are you the same girl with the... Yeah, you were the girl downstairs when I made that joke about pedophilia. Huh. Looks like you matured well. I'm surprised your shroomer says hasn't evolved. Wow, time did her well. Then again, it's been five years, though. Five years? I don't think you'd transform into that, would you? Then again, I probably couldn't guess her own age at the time. Hey, little kid. What's up? Yeah, the kid's grid. That's what they recall. No, kid's grid was started by old people. Any season Pokemon on the wall, like Ludicolo, a Pikachu, a Swampert... can't see that correctly. Almost looks like a robot, but it might be Groudon. Whatever. I don't care. Anyway, let's search around this place a bit. Maybe we can find some items. Nope, nothing. What do you have to say? So I guess these guys are actually giving out information to uh, the ore region, which is kind of nice, I guess. It's a dark area. Wait a second. What the hell are you guys doing here for? Okay, that's different. I didn't think they'd actually do that. Have the characters from uh, the one place come here. You gotta admit, though, that's why I like this game a lot more in the area of being good. Yeah, you look pretty well, too, dude. If I'm right, this guy was the skater dude that we got the piece from when we first uh, met the kids, the kids grid inside of the under. Oh, by the way, important information that is actually pretty sad. The under doesn't show up in this game, which I'm actually really upset about. That's one of my main complaints about this game is that the under never showed up again because that had my favorite music out of the whole game in it. <laughs> so, or, or at least one of my favorite tracks. And uh, it doesn't show up again, which really sucks, but... You know, what are you going to do? Very nice. So they got their information then. That's cool. 
Uh, I don't think we need to be here any longer. I wonder if he can. I wonder if he says anything about what we should do. Huh. Kind of true. I mean, you know how people are trying to hide the truth and all. Especially if you have a lot of money, people will give in to that kind of stuff. But I think I'm just gonna head home now. <laughs>